Namaste, love and light, star seeds. Happy Sunday, happy God's day. Hope you guys have a prosperous and sunny day today. All right, so someone, they've been trying to like calcify. I'm hearing calcify your DNA. That's crazy. They definitely trying to like block your DNA activation, okay? And um. Yeah, ow, this is someone, they, they like strongly trying to close your third eye. They're strongly trying to close it, okay? And this is someone that projects a lot to you that you don't make sense. Or like you said that before. All right, this could be a, <laughs> this could be a reader, watch another reader, that's you guys, okay? Somebody's watching my readings, they don't understand how energy work. Like somebody could be trying to talk about your passions, make you forget about your passions, Make you not see through things as well. Like, maybe you have a passion to, like, see through nonsense. Like, it's your destiny. It's a part of your destiny to, like, see past certain illusions, okay? And somebody is trying to figure out, like, how is that your destiny so you can see the truth about everything and everyone. It's like, I feel like you have a strong connection with your destiny and, and your passions. Like, your passions is connected with your destiny, okay? We talked about this before. But I feel like a person, this person, they don't, they don't get that. Like they don't see how your passions is connected with your destiny. And I feel like this, it's like this is someone that's like choose to stay stuck in that energy of being confused about your destiny. They want you to be all in your head, confused about your 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 destiny. It's it's your destiny, Starcy. I've been saying this. Y'all had karmics obsessed with your destiny, and it was working and partner up, making alliances with others. All right, to steal your destiny, change your destiny, swap your destiny, destroy it. It was in their shadow, and it devil is double, double devilish dark energy. This is someone from your past. It was in some dark energy trying to destroy what you love to do because you didn't love them anymore. Okay, they don't want you to watch this. They don't want y'all to watch, you know, tarot readings. They feel like that's like bringing the devil into your life because... It's showing you the truth, and they feel like that's the devil. They're trying to hide and say that's not true. They did not expect y'all to know certain things. They got mad and offended, like, oh, you all in my business, or these terror readings are all in my business. All right, but if it's something bad that's being exposed and they ain't supposed to be doing it, how is it a bad thing? You know, obviously, they want to stay stuck in that dark energy, and they expect you to stay settled in that. Like, they don't want you to, to, to expect more. It's like you guys love to learn. You guys love to keep your crown open to, like, infinite wisdom, infinite divine wisdom. You love to be tapped in. And they love, I feel like this person sees that you love to be tapped in. And I, I'm, I'm getting, this is someone they love to see you loving it so they can try to take it from you. Like, this is someone they know that you love, you know, to learn. Like, they love, that, that um, they know that you love wisdom. They could be saying that they love wisdom because they see you loving it. So now they're saying they love it too. They could be trying to, Study and learn things that you know and, and, and I'm getting doctrines, certain doctrines, maybe spiritual practices, so even about history. Like, that's good. They may feel like that's a way for them to find themselves. That's them finding their destiny, their purpose, okay? But I feel like it's still keeping them lost because they're not really finding the answers that they need. They, it's, it's like this is someone they just want to look like they're doing what you're doing. It's like they look like a copycat. They obviously want to look like one doing this. And then this person will project so much 3D things to you. Like, oh, why you? It's like, I don't know. Somebody maybe I, I don't know who is projecting this. But somebody could be saying, like, why you wear the same lipstick? Why are you wearing the same lipstick? All right? Or the same lipstick color? I don't understand. Or they don't like a particular lipstick color that you wear. It may be your favorite color. They, they, they shitting on your favorite color. Like, anything that you love. They hate it. And they're telling people, that's not true. Like, I love what you love. I love what you do. And people that see them, they see that they're delusional and they're lying, but they're feeding into it because they, like, I, I, I don't know. They obviously love that low level-ish. They love that low vibration. They they love, you know, to be caught up in confusion. This is, like, they love chaos, basically. These are people that love chaos, and they have not settled down from that chaotic world reality. It's like, if once you start talking about these certain things, they like to click off. They like to just step away. All right, because they could be watching you online when you talk about certain things that hit them hard in the heart because it's hitting them hard because they don't understand. And it's like they don't want to understand it the way that it's supposed to be understood. All right, or understand it or whatever <laughs> as well. So 
they're like, I'm clicking off or I'm walking away. I don't want to hear this. I'm hanging up. I'll text you later. It's like that. I'm going to leave you on red. I'll text you tomorrow. Like, they don't want to hear about that stuff. They may project that they do, but deep down inside, they're still in fear. Their heart is still in fear, still shifted in fear. They have a 3D heart, so that could be, a, like, their heart is not very giving, a very petty heart. They only see things from their perspective, all right? from And they only, it's like, and I'm even, like, from what they see and feel from the heart, that's what they follow. And they feel like that's right. They feel like that's divine guidance. They feel like that's from God, like, how, like, how dare you tell me that's not from God? Like, they feel offended and offensive, but they, this is someone, they, it's like, they're like, you can't tell me about me drinking because when you drink, that I could channel the spirit. You can't tell me anything about being high because I know what I'm seeing when I'm high, all right? Even if they snort and stuff, they're like, you can't tell me what I'm seeing and not seeing. You know, like, they want to, like, beat you up and fight you because you you could be telling them, like, like, yo, you're not seeing the truth. It's delusion. They're trying to say all these things that they're seeing about you, the dark stuff, the evil stuff, like, that's true. That's you. And you're trying to show them, like, that's delusion. That's It's not, like, you're trying to break, and break down to them, like, how a, a person's third eye could be closed. And, like, how a person, how you know your third eye is closed is because, you know, you you seeing, you seeing ain't seeing things right. You're seeing things that's off. You're trying to explain that to them that their third eye is closed off from all the stuff that they think that they can see. And their crown is closed, too. Your crown and third eye is connected. All right, obviously, right? So if it's like their crown is in delusion, so all they see is delusion. Their mind has been completely taken over by some, some dark force or a dark thought. Some type of, some, well, I'm hearing dark reality, like their life. It's like, I feel like they're thinking that their life is shit and that's what's happening. And, and that's what's manifesting in their life. And they don't know how to control it. It's like they can't control these dark thoughts, these dark emotions, these, I'm hearing dark emojis. What? They sending like knife emojis, weird dark emojis. Like they on some other shit. All right. <laughs> They was sitting there towards you like knives, like a bunch of knives, like threatening you. They was on some other shit. Uh, it, it, it did come out. That's Madagascar. But they listen, they don't want you to see who they partner partnering up with, who their alliance is, who they're working with to destroy your destiny. And they're telling the person who's doing spell work, make sure she don't see it's me. Make sure she don't see it's you. Make sure she don't see it's this particular spell. Like I said, they're trying to close and calcify your third eye. They're trying to close your third eye. And I feel like they want you to stop saying and talking about the stuff you're seeing. All right, listen. What you're saying about your destiny or about destiny, like when you speak about destiny, it's truth. But they're trying to say, like, that's false. That's not true. That's not how destiny works. You don't know how my destiny works. You know, like, you don't know my destiny. All right, and, and even if you try to break it down to them, and it, it's something, and, and it's not like you're saying anything bad. You tell them that they need to heal. Healing will guide them there. And, you know, going within and open up your heart. They're like, oh, that's just demonic. Me and my dark world and working with these dark, it's like, it's weird how they're trying to call love and light demonic, but they're messing with dark forces. It's not adding up, all right? But, um, yeah. They want to keep your third eye closed, but it's not closed. Look at that. <sighs> Some this person energy is closed. Like I'm getting like closed. Like this person could be acting very closed off or standoffish. Like they was always like that towards you. People could be noticing like they acting weird a little bit more closed office than usual certain people could have tried to blame their mental health or mental illness on you guys like you drove them crazy somebody could be trying to say you drove them crazy by not letting them see their kids the kids that's an excuse and 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 i feel like that is something that's like an that's that's enabling this person's mental illness if anything they don't want to fix their shit for whatever whatever kids business they could be trying to blame you for why their business is failing and or why life is going down if they really cared about their life they'll get it together you, you can't blame other people. It's you at the end of the day. But they don't want you to speak about destiny. They don't want you to talk about it. Read your own destiny. They don't want you to feel guided to, like, read others' destiny. Like, they don't want you to follow your path, your spiritual path, star seeds. I feel like your destiny is the pathfinder. Like, you're helping, like, or the way shower, helping others find their way. And I feel like you had other karmic Jezebels jealous of that. 
of that gifts and ability that you have. Like, these are other people that claim that they're wise. They fill with wisdom. This is the higher fan. All right, they want to say like they're wise here. Yeah, they fill with wisdom. They are higher fan. They 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 come from a higher hierarchy. They come from the heavens, but yet they're projecting evil. I feel like these people are cloaked. They're cloaking themselves as a higher fan so they can get into certain secret societies. I'm hearing somebody what what somebody want to be initiated under like a secret society that's dark. But I feel like this is someone, they, this is so, listen, you had like a group of like witches, dark witches cloaking themselves as like higher folks, high ranked, holy, holier than thou type of people. All right. There ain't no one holier than thou, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's the point of this person, this karmic, seeing all of this stuff about you or whatever they're saying they're seeing in your Akashic records. But it ain't true about you. I feel like it's really their Akashic records they're reading. Like, these could be other psychics that can tap into Akashic records. They're all reading your Akashic, your Akasha illegally. All right? You did not tell them they can do it. And they, they say that don't apply to them. Like, illegal Akasha. Like, that don't apply to me. Like, I can tap into your energy anytime because I'm I'm high rank. I, I'm going to be a high rule. It's like a high rule standard that applies to them where... They can tap into anyone's purpose, even though their life is shit in the 3D. It doesn't make, it doesn't add up. They may come off like they got all this money and prosperity, all these gifts. But I feel like they're still finding themselves. I feel like these people, whoever these group of, could be up to five psychics or high priestesses, dark witches, they're all confused about themselves. They're seeing things confusingly about themselves, if that makes sense. They're not wise, and they may project this onto you like you're not wise. You don't have a destiny or whatever your purpose and destiny is not your destiny. And then they want to say, like, I'm I'm not that higher fit, high priestess that you're thinking of that that projects that they're loving light, but really they're not. Like they're like, I live by this. But they do dark work. And they and they hide a little book of spells because they don't want people to see. All right, I gotta tap into that. All right, they want they listen, these dark witches, and I feel like it could have been an X too. Not could have. I feel like it was dark witches and a dark X. Trying to end your destiny. They wanted you to, like, end your life. All right? They want... I'm getting, like, a completion. But that completion is, like, an ending of your life. And I feel like they wanted to put an ending to your destiny by ending your life. Y'all could be working with the flower of life here. Look, independent. I feel like it's written off. Like, these people's written off of your destiny. And I was about to say it's written off because it's written for these people to be written off of your destiny. Like, they're not a part of, of your, your destiny, your new life. They want to say, oh, your new life is your old life. Like, your old life... It's really your new life. Like, you're, like I don't know. It's like, you're listen, they, they're, they're thinking, like, your new life, how the way they're looking at your new life is, like, has nothing to do with them. Like, they're not a part of it at all. And it's true. Whatever riches come up, prosperity, that good energetic bubble that you're in, that protective bu bubble that you and your kids in, it have nothing to do with them. You severed ties with them. All right, you're in your own sovereignty and your own power. You, your life is being renewed, and it has nothing to do with them. They can't be a part of it. So let's just say this is someone who you once had kids with or you once was married. I don't know why I'm getting once was married. They might, I don't know, but they can, you know, I be getting different, uh, different energies, and they be coming, they be messing up my little downloads. But anyways, they can come in and, and like, let's just say they want to be a part of the kid's life. Let's just say something like that. All right, they can still be there, but that don't mean that they have to be in your life. You know, like, they can set boundaries. They need, they don't have boundaries. Boundaries have been set, and they're not a part of that new life. They need to also set boundaries even with themselves so they won't feel like, you know, they're ripping themselves apart because they can't be a part of your life. All right, like, they're literally ripping themselves apart. They feel ripped apart because they're ripping themselves apart because they don't know how to handle the fact that you don't want nothing to do with them. All right, it's like they can't believe like you're meant to live your life without them independently. All right, this destiny has nothing to do with them, and they hate it. They hate that they're not a part of your destiny, Starseeds. They hate it. This is why they want to calcify, all right, and, and crucify your third eye. All right, and say like you're just seeing things. You're just you're seeing illusions. You're seeing delusions. You know, God is messing with your third eye, your mind. You know, this is someone that believe God is messing with them. All right, I don't know. All right, that's, listen, that's their own karma. But I feel like they don't want you to believe in your dreams. Whatever your sight seeing is, or it's a sightseer, whatever you're seeing for yourself, whatever sights that's high, they don't want you to manifest that. They don't want you to manifest your dreams with confidence and your travel dreams. All right, they don't want you to have a bucket list. They don't want you to wander around life positively. We're not wandering, looking for yourself, looking for this. Like you're wandering, just exploring and 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 soaking in the beauties of of Earth, of life. 
okay and you are a divine messenger they have to accept that they want to say that's an injustice that's karma that's karmic oh they got all this wisdom without having to be a messenger like they knew all this stuff before you somebody was trying to say that they knew all this spiritual stuff before you but yet they're learning more and more new spiritual stuff every day even more and more new spiritual stuff about you something about m or w or m or w i don't know you you see m and w is like a mirror i feel like shit is being switched all right that's what i'm getting i don't know i'm seeing like the roles being um switched or reversed like the energy that they try to put you in they're being put in that the attention that you know you once wanted from them now they're giving it to you and i feel like something is being mirrored and reflected back to them they're seeing a lot that's unfolding that they cannot control and they also like seeing the true reflection of you your true light that reflection is light and they don't get when you say certain like they don't get what when you say certain things like what you mean by like i keep getting that like they don't get it and that's why they will say like you don't make sense or it could have been a few people that don't get or understand what you say because they are afraid to open up their heart to the truth the reason why they don't get it is because they don't want to accept the truth look the fact that you're going through a renewal they don't want to accept this like they're like you don't deserve a new life you don't deserve a new energy you don't deserve to heal and have all this and look it's funny it says a call to fulfill your destiny an important milestone Listen, I'm, I'm getting strong. They don't want to believe this this renewal is for your destiny. They feel like you went through this energetic renewal to destroy them. I don't get it. Because you're not destroying them now. But that's what they're seeing for themselves, really. That's what they're seeing for themselves. Because you ain't seeing nothing for them. Besides, move on and have a happy life. Do better or whatever. But this, listen. This energetic renewal, this regeneration. I hope I said it right. Re Regeneration, all right, this this renewal. And there's a purpose behind this renewal. And it's for your destiny. And that and, and it's like I'm hearing spirit screaming. The purpose. There's a purpose. The purpose is your destiny. Like there's a purpose behind everything. There's a purpose. I'm, I'm just hearing them say there's a purpose, there's a purpose, there's a purpose. Like there's a purpose for you to go through all of this. And they don't see it because they're lost in life. They want to say, I do see all these things. Like I can connect the dots. But they don't get it or see it for themselves, so they really can't connect the dots. And I feel like your prosperity is being renewed. Like I said, you're coming up in prosperity, and they can't change it. They can't rewrite that for themselves and rewrite for you to have nothing. That's not going to work. A lot of y'all do a lot of independent spiritual work, too. Like, you like you burn your own candles. You do. You create your own petitions. You, you do your own rituals, your own manifestations. Like, you self-taught. You learned on your own. By going within and communicating with the spirits. Like, you learn how to communicate and talk with the spirits on your own. This motherfucker ain't teach you shit. They want to say, somebody want to say you fed off their family energy to have your light and to know what you know. That's a lie. Like, what they look at they, so they always look at you as a dumb girl, a dumb bell, a piece of shit, a nobody. This is coming from an uh, ex-energy strongly, but it could also be these witches, too, that's underestimated. They undermined it and underestimated y'all, all right, of being this true alchemist. And then when they saw it was true, they felt it was real. They want to release you from it. All right, but that's protected. Look at that. That's funny. They didn't. They thought that you were just, your energy was open and you wasn't protected. That's what they thought. They thought your energy was open and you was not protected, Starseeds. Period, point blank. And they're still confused about your destiny because they want to see what it really is, what it's meant for you. They can't just, it's like them just seeing it in the physical, you unfolding your destiny and it's happening for you in the physical. That's not enough. They want to see it in the spirit, like from God. They want God to show them your divine blueprint. They want God to show them your purpose, your destiny, and the meaning behind it. And, like, the reason why they want all these answers is because they want to know why the hell you was in their life if you're not meant to be with them. And if you explain karmic lessons, you know, soul lessons, they be like, nah, that's bullshit because I ain't learned no lessons from you. Besides, the only thing I learned is that you used me, you took from me. All that sounds negative and self-defeat talk. It sounds self-defeat. Sounds like they're in conflict with themselves. They may need therapy or or a psychologist, a psychiatrist. They need a few things, and I'm not being funny. Clearly, they do. They got a problem with you being an alchemist, and you are inventing and creating whatever it is that you feel inside you, in your heart. And you a true mystic. I'm hearing a mystic coach. You could be a life coach, a spiritual life coach specifically, or a spiritual coach. Coaching others how to be this mystic psychic. And they want to say that's dark. You teaching people how to be dark and evil. They want to say you part of an occult. You part of some type of um, a mystic cult that's attacking their soul. Like you are, yo, you are a mystic that's a miracle. You're a blessing. 
Your darkness is light. It's shimmering, sparkling, glittering light. It's whole. It's healing. It's it's like it, it's amazing. It makes others want to be look more confirmation. It makes others want to be in that beauty of their dark side or their mystical side. I told you the Pathfinder. They say all of you all these dark things, but you help them find their way, and they mad. Other people could be saying that, like, well, you divine feminine, masculine, help me, and they mad. They can't believe that you are this 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 dark mystic that's light, and they they're projecting your dark, but or you don't you do dark things, but that's 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 not the no baby no that's not what it is. That dark energy is your yin. Or your primordial side. That's it is oh my god, I can't even I can't even go there. It's like you're ancient, man, and, and you use your darkness for light. There's there's many purposes for your darkness. You can trans just like how you can transmute your traumas and pain into gold. You can you can you oh my god. I can't even describe it. It's not you using your spiteful mind against others or being sneaky. It's about using, knowing how to use your darkness for light. That darkness that's a part of you that can't be changed. That darkness that you need to pour love into. I don't know what it may be for you guys. I'm still figuring it out for myself. But I do know, you know, I have to, I don't know. I don't know. But you guys are creating with pure, raw, dark energy. And, and they looking at this dark energy... As evil, but this darkness is creation, and that pure creation is 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 is, is power. That's what I'm seeing is, is is activating in your solar plexus. You're creating with nothing. You're creating something out of nothing. You're using other. You're, you're, I'm sorry. You're helping others use that nothing to create something because that nothing has a purpose. That nothing is meant to be tapped into. That light that a person haven't found, that light that that they that they that that's not within them yet, you can help them activate that by first helping them identify their traumas and their pain and using that for power, using that for strength, and understanding the true background story behind your pain. Why you went through this is for you to tap into your um your power, for you to see yourself as stronger. Only the strong, not the weak, only the strong go through what you've gone through. And we all gone through things differently in our life that make us strong. So we can't say, oh, I've gone through more, so I'm better than you, I'm stronger than you. No. The divine, the most high, all right, our higher selves align us with X, Y, and Z. It's in its perfect alignment for us to be where we need to be on a soul level. So don't ever judge yourself or others because we are who we are and we are where we are for a reason. But... Your miracles are about to come into fruition. You're helping others, you know, learn how to. I mean, this is like, you know, hoodoo. Like, y'all could be hoodoo practitioners. Voodoo practitioners, right? I'm not getting, I don't know if y'all teaching others how to do. Maybe, I don't know what type of voodoo it is. So, all right, maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's New Orleans voodoo. Because I know it's, 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 it's less restrictive than around, like, you know, African voodoo, Haitian voodoo. But I, I don't know. You could be working with other people that's initiated. You could be working for a, a, a spiritual organization or something like that. Take care of Resonate. That's not for everyone. But for some of you guys, it's like you're teaching others how to use their hoodoo side, their witchy side, that dark side that people call dark to bring healing. And a lot of people will say, well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to use candles and herbs, sage. I don't want to do that to manifest. I just want to, a lot of them will say, I want to use my mind to stay focused. But the energies around them ain't working with the energy they trying to manifest because they, they need to clear the way. And sometimes you may need to burn, but not sometimes you, you need to burn some sage. That's a part of nature. That's a part of life. We you Those people that's going life, going throughout their whole life without sage, I'm sure they got a bunch of demons they can't see that's going to travel with them to their next lifetime. But if they would have grabbed some sage, I'm sure that that shit won't be there. The sage don't open up energies for darkness to come in. It, it, it dispels it. It repels it. Now, some dark energies are stronger than sage. Now you shouldn't be messing with no shit that's stronger than sage. You got you know you should know what you was messing with if you get to that point. All right, but I feel like this person is very much authentically in their ego. All right, how they acting now is their true self. All right, even though they may come off as delusional, that's that's who they are. They chose to scoop low, and and I guess they I guess they just didn't expect for 
that version of themselves, who they was before they, before, like, let's just say, okay, before they did the spell or before they did whatever they did to you, they was at a certain level. But after they did it, they didn't expect to go even lower. They did not. They did not. All right? Some of y'all, I'm getting hoodoo, hoodoo. Some of y'all do hoodoo. They want to say, oh, you do hoodoo. That's bad. That's demonic. I'm going to tell everybody. All right? And they want to twist you using your hoodoo for good. They may even say, oh, you say you use it for good, but I can feel it's dark energy around you. They can't tell shit. They can't tell nothing from a can of paint because they don't know shit from a can of paint. All right? Yes, it's love. It's love that you manifest with. That's that light. It's love that is your pure intention. Even if you're protecting yourself, you're protecting yourself out of love. Okay, you love yourself and you're not going to allow anyone to, to F you over. But you're not one of those people that just attack people, go after people who make you mad. If that's the case, the whole world would be destroyed, okay? <laughs> and you won't have what you have today. Hmm? Yeah, it's not out yet. Yeah, y'all keep focusing on your greatness. Keep playing with your inner magic. Keep playing with your manifestations. Because it's all working and manifesting lovely for you guys, okay? You guys are high priestess. You guys, some of you guys are witches, but you're not no evil dark witch. They can listen. They can look at all witches the same. They could, but you guys know you're not like that. And this is someone, especially if this is an ex, they dated witches. All right, and they actually went to witches to do spells. And they praise these witches as high priestesses over you. More, they praise them more as high priestesses than you. Why is wisdom here? All right, staff. Okay, so stability. I feel like somebody is trying to use their magic against you. But now they're trying to use their magic to, like, keep themselves stable. They're trying to protect themselves so you won't see what type of magic they're doing. It's definitely a feminine. She's trying to, like, cloak her magic as if it's something that is, like, protective. Something that's going to bring strength and stability in her life. Like, whatever magic she's doing is actually here to hold her up and help her feel stable. But it's really an, like her, like it's really an attack towards you. But that is, is really messed up mixed is like reverse or mixed psychology i don't know but nonetheless it's like what's the her cloaking the spell that's you know that's supposed to keep her stable is actually the spell that's attacking you like the hex and the spell is what keeps her feeling safe and it's a karmic feminine i told you all right and they call themselves divine feminine they're like, they're like you see the card came out as this that's who i am but i'm an intuitive reader all right, this is someone that likes to hide and block other intuitive reader gifts so they won't read intuitively and keep you stuck, stuck in this incubation energy where you'll be stuck and feeling blocked from wanting to tap into your true power while this karmic is harvesting, feeding off of your power. It's almost like it's borrowed energy. Like she's like, I'm, I'm just borrowing your energy for this lifetime and I'm going to keep you stuck and trapped in this spell. All right, because I need your energy for this life. Like she really thinks she's just going to drain you this lifetime. All right, and I feel like, you know, this energy is coming out unexpectedly for somebody. Like, maybe somebody didn't expect to hear this. I don't know. To expect to hear this karmic was in your divine masculine's energy. A karmic did not expect to see your divine masculine in your life. Like, and, and I, like they didn't expect you to awaken to your divine masculine. They were trying to, like, do spells to clear him out of your life. All right, somebody, and, and they're trying to project, like, I don't care, or, you know, they, or you don't care. You, they, I don't fucking know. It's just some weird shit. All right, yeah, look, they try to hex your person. They're trying to say, no, I didn't. They're trying to push all that energy away and make it seem like it's not them. And make and they also trying to remove the energy. Or No, they're trying to also do energy work so it, so it can appear that he's not hexed by this karmic. But he is. Like, they're trying to do some real crazy illusion spells, all right? I'm telling you, this is, this is definitely a witch. And she's, like, in some dark winter cold energy, a cold witch. She comes off like a healer. Like I said, they like to come off as a hierophant. All right, as prosperous, I can't make this shit up. Even she even tried to say I use my magic for prosperity. You know, she likes to fool people with her pictures, her image. All right, but she she likes to cook up dark shit. And she used skulls, death magic. She has a book of shadows. She has secrets. All right, and she's like, she's trying to project. You don't even know what she used these skulls for. It's for protection. You know, it's for banishment. But she's using these skulls to hex you. Or she's doing some type of death work. All right, dark arts. I'm hearing death arts. All right, that's crazy. She was trying to curse your heart, too. Hex your heart. Okay, your heart chakra. 
all right keep it closed and stuff all right mess and she was even hexing your fertility hexing your crown so you won't know and see yourself as a high priestess you could be a water sign you are cleansing i feel like you have a cleansing aura a cleansing spirit you giving me like a goddess energy type of vibe all right you like a goddess ancestor here okay that's crazy it's like you a goddess but you have like you know dark energies that's primordial that's ancient ancient as hell that's connected with ancestors. Like, this is not dark energy. And it's whatever work you're doing is not dark dark work. All right, but she's trying to confuse your ancestors into seeing you as bad. Her book is shattered. She's trying to confuse everyone from, from seeing the truth. She wants everyone to see you as this cold, dark person. She has a book of shadows. And she and she know how, and she's like, I know spells is like to keep per, a person stuck in the five of pentacles or even like freezing spells, freezing spells. She may work with hoodoo. This, 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 whoever this person calls, she calls herself a queen. This queen works with hoodoo. She may call herself like a voodoo queen or a hoodoo queen. But I'm getting specifically hoodoo. She could be an air sign. Or she may communicate about this stuff. She may, I feel like she communicate with her ancestors too. She does divination. Okay, she, I feel, I'm seeing her like in some type of circle. Like, in, like I don't know. She got some type of, what she calls, a healing circle. All right, she calls herself having some type of healing circle. Like, she's some part of some healing group. But she does divination to spy. Like, she do dark things with her divination. She's the one that truly do dark stuff with her divination. And then she like to flip stuff on you and say, well, I thought you said none of this stuff is bad or dark, so why are you saying I'm doing it? Her intentions is dark and, and well, low vibrational dark. Negative, low vib like, negative, low vibe. Yeah, I feel like she broke the wicked rule when she tried to send you death. All right, I know this is a holiday, the Day of the Dead, but she, I feel like she tried to write you off the Day of the Dead. Hell yeah, she celebrate those certain holidays. All right, listen, I wouldn't be surprised she's a wicked. I don't know, and she was writing up her own spells. That's what I'm getting as well. She was writing up her own spells to curse your prosperity. She do not want this to come out, and she do not want y'all to hear this. She don't want y'all to hear this or to care. She just wants you to, like, have this energy in your in your life and not do nothing. I don't know. Look, she's a tarot reader. Yeah, she's just someone. She, like, oh, gosh. Hold on, y'all. One, two. Okay, hold on, Mina. Let me check on the. I mean, I don't know. I need to do that. She um attacks other tarot readers. Okay, Mina, we have to see. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. She, like, protects herself from, or uh, she she says she has to protect herself against other terror readers because she feels like she's being attacked by other terror readers, and that includes you, too. All right, she was communicating about you. She put you in that batch, like, you was a terror reader that was looking into her energy, looking to her good fortune, and doing, like, spells to swap and change prosperities. For some of you guys, she said, specifically for some of you guys, she said that you was using Elegua to swap destiny. She said, like, you know how to do that. That's a lie. A lot of y'all don't know how to do that just because you may know how... Elegua energy work don't mean that you know how to do all that crazy shit and y'all know he ain't gonna do that anyway You have respect for yourself and Elegua But this is a current that may even try to say like I'm a good tarot reader You can trust me in my readings like they, it's almost like they try to Convince people or even bribe people. I don't know. I'm gonna say bribing people with their word with, with their words No, I mean, I don't know Yep, bribe people with their words Instead of them giving money, they're using their words. Maybe, you know. But this is someone, like, they pretend like they got to protect themselves against a terror reader. That's what they're saying. I have to protect myself against a terror reader. They're like, I don't want to say the name because, you know, she got monitoring spirits or he got monitoring spirits watching me. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to text it to you or show you the, the page. You know, we'll see. Yeah, she did all this. She did all this dodging, ducking, and hiding. She did not want you to see the truth. That is her. Definitely could be an air sign. Whatever, so you listen. If her sign, whatever sign been popping up, okay, whatever sign been popping up in your life, like it could be any sign earth or air, water, fire. That, am I missing one? Whatever, whatever element, that's who it is, okay? So if you've been seeing a lot of Leo energy popping up and you and this karma's a Leo, there you go. Or if you're a Leo dealing with that, flip flop the road. But you have healing energy. And this karmic was hanging on it. They read tarot, and they attack other tarot readers. They attack other tarot readers' crown and their communication with their spirit guides. Yeah, and they, they work with, like, a group of people. And they work with the moon. 
They do this a lot. And they want to say, no, uh I don't do it like that. I don't do it all the time. Only when I feel threatened. This, this is a dog that always feels threatened. This is a dog that is hollering. So to say a hit dog want to holler, this bitch is hollering. And they want to say you hollering because you telling the truth. All right? You, you actually awakening everyone to this person's true nature. And they didn't like that. So they were saying you a hit dog hollering. No, this hit dog was hollering. Even though they were trying to hide certain things, but in a, you can tell the energy was hollering. The energy they was giving was hollering energy. I mean, I don't know. All right, they wanted to freeze up your 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 growth. This is someone that was doing freezing spells, and even like petitioning, writing petitions with the like. I don't know how freezing spells work, but I do know I'm, what I am seeing is that they wrote a petition and put some they put it in a jar and they and they put it in the freezer, and they figured working with a jar would be better. Okay, y'all people don't believe that I truly be channeling like from a person's energy like from a karmic energy like how the way they think people probably be thinking that's me like i know i know how to do it because of what i'm saying in my readings but no i just see things i hear things i pick up on things okay and i'm smart as hell y'all protect it this is someone that say like i do protection magic i have to protect my union from you like they're like under this robotic ass energy they really hungry for your energy this is a tarot card reader for some of you guys this psychic this dark psychic wish that we was talking about all right. Well, ain't this, ain't this coming up in bald? I, I think I can't pronounce it. That's coming up soon. All right. Listen, they know that you guys are going through a powerful spiritual awakening. But the, listen, it's like they're stuck on your awakening. Like you guys been awakened to what they're trying to stop you from awakening to. But they may know that there's something bigger that you're meant to awaken to. And that's meant to come into your life, meant to manifest in your life. It's a part of your destiny unfolding. And they think that they can block it. Their third eye is closed. Anytime they think or see themselves being able to block you. That's their third eye is closed. That's delusion. Your third eye, a closed third eye is also delusion, not just a crown chakra. A third, third uh, a closed third eye is also someone seeing delusion. Like their imagination is running wild. Like any like any thought can create something crazy in their mind. Alright? Like it's it's not good. No control over over their thoughts. This is someone that may think they know they like uh-uh, they trying to say, they listen, this is someone that may think this way, but they think that you think that you know everything about the third eye, the chakras. They're like, oh, you was trying to teach me, and they're like, they're like in the back of their mind, they're like, they're saying in the back of their head, when you was trying to teach them all this stuff, they were saying to themselves, like, they already know this, they don't need to learn this. You trying to school them, you slow, already know this. Like, oh, please, they want to say, like, spirit already guided them or initiated them to know all this stuff. They're just copying the things that you say. They don't even want spirit to any spirit around you or spirituality to be life for you guys. I don't know, Mira. All right, but they don't want spirit to initiate you to your full blown power. They don't want you to be or get initiated. All right, that's what I'm getting. Like this is man. They don't want spirit to cook shit up for you. They don't want you to be initiated because they don't want spirit to cook shit up for you. A few people were, were trying to almost like deny your initiation, or they said like. They was going to make sure a priest or high priestesses deny initiating you because you got some dark energy. No, what these high priestesses and priestesses are saying, are seeing, high priests and priestesses are saying that you were blocked by people and they purposely blocked you because they saw the truth about you, your true passion. And in your true passion, your true passions and dedication. And how you are not willing to stop because they told you to stop. You're not going to stop because they said stop. Can't stop, won't stop. That really intimidates them. When you say, like, I'm not going to stop. I can't stop. I won't stop. You know how much that makes them mad, Starseed? Because that's their plan. It's to get you to stop. Okay? They want y'all to stop. They don't want y'all to be spiritual. They don't want y'all to receive this divine abundance. This divine birthright. This the divine truth. Oh, gosh. Crayon. This divine truth, okay, whatever this, whatever scary thing this karmic is manif uh, thinking of is manifesting in their life, like I said, all right, it's, it's, and it's affecting their life, it's, I mean, their, their, yeah, their life, but also their light, like, whatever darkness they're thinking of is feeding into their light, and it's turning their light into darkness. They may try to say, oh, no darkness can feed into my light, like, their dark, like, listen, their light is being transformed or transmuted into darkness because the darkness is, is overpowering the light. They, listen, they need a blessing. For this fulfillment, I feel like they need a cleansing. All right, with this chalice, I'm sorry, with this chalice, they need a cleansing, and that's what's going to help them feel emotionally 
fulfilled, matured. Okay, this could be an earth sign that needs some prosperity. It's coming soon. Or you could be an earth sign. And you needed a sign to let you know. You needed some type of sign to let you know, like, to keep going. To let you know to keep going. All right, like, things, like, you're going to grow from this. If you're a positive, high vibrational earth sign, you're very prosperous, and you're going to grow from this. Remain grounded. Because the seeds that you're planting, they're becoming real. They're becoming alive. Don't be scared or afraid. This is beautiful. I'm seeing prosperity growing for y'all. Y'all just was missing some water. Y'all just needed to pour some love into the situation, pour love back into you. Needed to just feel back connected with your passions. Because you have, like, a, a, an intense connection with your passions. But whatever you're creating and building, you have a strong connection with it. It's intense. All you needed to, was to just pour some love into a situation. Somebody is definitely trying to calcify, calcify, calcify your third eye. Dry it up. So it'll be closed. It'll be broken. It'll be all tear up, beat up. All right, they definitely want to... If, listen, they want to block y'all from Pacific cards. This is one of the cards they want to block you from reading the Psychic Tarot. If you've been feeling a disconnect from some of your cards, this is, this is definitely coming from that tarot reader. They don't like that you're reading certain cards, that they're reading similar cards. They feel like you copying them. And they feel like you copy their 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 genes, like their DNA. Like you copy like you, like you copy their DNA type, their genotype. I'm hearing genotype. Or like you, you like a carbon copy. That's what they're trying to say. That's sick. I don't know. This person was obsessed with you. They was obsessed with you. That's just obsessed. Like they was obsessively thinking about you. And, like, whatever they was thinking, it did not match your energy. They're juggling. Like, their mind be up and down. They may still think about you from time to time. All right. It's, like, I feel like, I don't know. What I'm getting is, like, there was a karmic. Yeah, there was a karmic. Like, outside of this, this obsessive karmic ex and obsessive psychic. There was another karmic that may claim to be a psycho, claim they could see things. They was in and out of your energy a lot. And it's like, it's like they're juggling you, like thoughts of you in their mind. Like it's like they're like from time to time, like they up and down think about you. All right. Because they know what they did. Like I'm getting three karmic energies. I was getting like mainly a karmic ex and then a, a dark psychic. That was a part of a group. And now I'm getting like another another psychic for some of you guys or another person that was looking into your energy. They're juggling in the mind. And it's like they, they're not thinking about you as much as they was. This person felt like they they should have like they should have been thinking about you or talking about you back then. Like they're like, that's what I should have done. What? But they did it. I don't get it how they saying they should have done it and they did it. Or maybe they're reflecting and then regret on regretting certain things that they should have done, but they didn't. But I'm getting they did it anyway. They're, they 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 should be thinking about how they shouldn't have done it, but they done it. No, me no. Like this person, I feel like they've been slowed down, like energetically. Like the energy's been slowed down for them because they need to do things more, like move more practical. They need to take practical action. Attacking you with spell work, attacking your third eye, that's not practical. They may have thought like their ancestors told them to do this. But they they destroyed themselves. Their rituals destroyed them, like cracked them, broke their spirit. Somebody was doing rituals outside, uh, uh, inside their own home. Somebody was also doing rituals outside of their home too. All right, and they was doing confusion spells, confusion rituals. Specifically, they they was calling on Elegua to confuse you. They're like, I know how to call on Elegua, conjure him. And they're juggling in their mind. They're like, they could be bipolar. They could be seeing things that's not there. Pisces energy. I just feel like they feel stagnant in their third eye. Like, they feel like their third eye is rooted. Like, their third eye is being pulled on. Like, a power struggle with their third eye. Like, like this could have been another psychic. All right? Earth sign psychic. Take it how it resonates. Y'all could be an earth sign. And y'all was being attacked. Just flip-flop the road. Y'all have to flip-flop the road. Don't be attacking us. Because we mentioned earth sign or fire sign. And that's your sign. But you ain't do that. Flip flop the rose. Okay? But like that's the vibe I'm getting with this karmic. It's like they may need some heavy scrutiny in their life. Alright, they need to they need to be schooled. They need to be taught a lesson. And they didn't like that. They had to learn this lesson. Not from you guys, like actually like physically you 
going out your way to teach them a lesson, but they didn't want to learn from what they did to you. It's because you was attached to it, and they had an issue with you. All right, I, I know that sounds delusional, but it's true. And they didn't want to see themselves in the hangman. They wanted to see themselves as enlightened. They wanted to see themselves as pure. But they're truly stuck. They're limited right now. They, they need to see that they're in this hangman energy to shift into a new perspective, to see a new perspective. They are at a stalemate so they can do things more practical because they destroyed themselves. They did a ritual. They did a ritual of sacrifice that strike them in the heart, that strike them down. And they're all falling like flies. And it's spreading like wildfire. Okay, that death energy is spreading like wildfire. It's karma. Somebody in their family may pass away. And they could have spoke this death energy onto you. And it's striking one of their family members. And that's sad. Ain't nobody praying over that funeral. No, they, it's like somebody's having a funeral in silence. One of their family members or an elder, grandfather, they passed away. It was their time. But, you know, I feel like their karma kind of speed up their, their that person's time, to be honest with you. One of their family members definitely could be sick, fell sick, or is, you see that look like, that's a, look like somebody in a car casket, right? You get what I'm trying to say? And they, I, it's a curse. They curse their bloodline, and they can't try to put this on y'all because you know about it. That's sick to say that you did this because you a psychic and you know it. And, oh, my God. But like this person was trying to activate confusion in your life. They were trying to activate you in confusion. Put, like... Keep like like you're like you'll be activated in confusion energy or confused energy. You'll be confused about everything. You'll be juggling. All right, miss juggling. Like you you're not even juggling right. Okay, like you like they want you, it's like this is someone that wants you to embarrass yourself and and people won't feel sorry for you, wanna help you, or right, you'll just be looking foolish. Like and these are people who you walked away from that's doing this to you. Why you think they're in the hangman? Because you walked away from them. And the only reason why they think you're still in their in their energy is because they're still watching you. So they thinking you're doing something to them. They need to let you go. It's not is they thinking you need to let them go, it's the other way around. They need to let y'all go, Star Seeds. It's not y'all, it's them. And that's simply what it is. It's not you guys. It's them. And, and they need to admit that. Listen, it's karma that's striking them down in the heart, in the soul, in the spirit. It's karma. It's universe. It's divine universe striking them. What they put out there is what they get back. And God is watching them too through all of this. God and universe. They don't want to believe that God can strike them down this way. They may believe, like, you know, yeah, I believe as above, so below, but I don't believe that God will, will, will do this to me. Yeah, I, Maybe they may say, I'll take it if, you know, I did it to myself, but I don't believe that God would do this. God is watching over all of us, and he's watching over this, this karmic going through all these endings. And it's not that God don't care, but God is in a standstill, like in the sense of just allowing it to happen. Why should God intervene and stop this person receiving karma? It's a lesson involved in this. They activated a lesson, a soul lesson for them. That's why everything's bouncing back. Everything, it starts with things bouncing back onto them. All right, and they was in and out of your energy for the longest. Flighty, in and out of your energy. All right, but in silence. And you will feel them in and out of your energy attacking you, being aggressive, arrogant, attacking you aggressively, arrogantly, abruptly, very much spiritual abuse. And they're, they're, they're receiving karma for the spiritual abuse. They want to say spiritual abuse is not real. You can't. You can't truly see the abuse because in the spirit. They want to say like the spirits can't feel or or experience pain. That's a lie. All that we're experiencing right now come from the spirit, the heavens, the astral world. They don't want to believe that because they're so 3D. And this is something that feels cold and empty inside, especially this dark witch. This could this dark witch could definitely be an earth sign. But negative. And I picked this up on my TikTok. But y'all could be earth signs too. She just flip-flopped the role. She was talking about you. Alright. She's very much full of herself. And she wanted you to feel heavy. Like all the work you're gonna put in is gonna go to shit. And she did rituals to make sure the hard work you put in goes to shit. Yup, and she made offerings. She gave offerings to her little um ancestors, her little elves. She like what what is it? Like a dwarf? It looked like a dwarf. Alright. And she she's working with elementals. She's working with elementals like dwarves, all right, fairies and such, water spirits. Okay, listen. I also just heard Orisha with the water spirits. This is Yamaya. She was giving offerings to keep you, and she was like, and she was asking the spirits like, promise me you're gonna leave her in this. Like she was communicating to the spirits like, uh, you know, promise me you're gonna do this, or giving these offerings 
as a form of like a promise that the spirit's gonna gonna do it. If that makes sense, like this offering was a promise from the spirits, even though she's giving the offering to the spirits. Like she's thinking it's promising now because I gave this offering to the spirits, and it's almost like it's almost like spirit promised me they're gonna do it because I gave this offering. It's weird because that's how the like I, I'm guessing the karmic was thinking it was promising. Yeah, they like they, but they was also thinking like you know spirit promised them this. Like spirits promised that they was gonna take you down so they can receive their prosperity that you're blocking. But they also felt like their offering was promising. Like them offering, giving the spirits whatever they like, or even offering a sacrifice in your name, they figured that was the way to get you out. And they thought like you didn't know about none of this stuff. And the spirits is mad because they're like, not only do you know, the spirits know too. Your ancestors know. You don't play around with stuff like this. They thought like their intention was not going to work against them and it blew up in their face. It blew up in their face. They want to say it blew up in y'all face. No, the truth about them did blow up in your face because y'all trusted this person. That's what blew up in your face to realize when you realize you couldn't trust them. And they crossed you. Okay, they want to be, I'm getting, listen, they want to be in the Lenormand Tower. That's exactly what I'm getting. They, listen, y'all karmic be watching me and it's always revealed in my readings. And y'all get annoying too. Y'all think I like picking up on y'all vibe. Y'all get aggravating as hell. Let me just pick up a few cards from here. Talking about some, they want to say, oh, we soulmates. Y'all karmics. Let me see any messages supposed to come out here. Cause I, yeah, you're going through a transition. A lot of y'all, this is a timeless reading. Y'all transitioning into your destiny. And it's like what's being shown to you is your destiny. And it's also being shown to you is how all these people try to keep you blocked. Why they try to keep you blocked and stuck is because of your destiny. That's what I'm getting with the star, your destiny. All right, y'all also made a wish is coming true. That, that, that wish coming true is like a transitioning is happening. The transition is the wish coming true. Because the stork is like transitioning shifts and stuff but y'all shifting into your destiny your life purpose purpose and the karma didn't like that and a lot of you guys for a lot of you guys you're already in it and you're shifting into a higher call all right in your destiny and you guys found the answers y'all found the key the answers and that was the key the answer was your destiny they was attacking you because your destiny so a lot of you guys are waking up to the fact that it's your destiny a lot of you guys y'all been woke up to the fact that it's your destiny but they're doing even more because there's something big that you're meant to fulfill or that's fulfilling in your... I feel like it's both, either or. There's something that you're meant to fulfill big in your destiny that's going to bring in a lot of fulfillment. It's like whatever you're meant to fulfill, you want... It's like it, it's, it's happiness. Like it, it, it makes you happy. You want to do it. But they're trying to make it seem like it's something that's like very hard and challenging, something that you can't do. Okay? They want to say, like, you can't see the tower, the towers that's happening in your life. They got a bunch of bats flying around. I just realized these are bats. Look at all these bats around them. This is, this, these bats are giving me bad omens. All right, I have my, one of my oracle decks have bats, bats in it. When I look up the spiritual meaning behind bats, it represents death, endings. All right, give me witchy vibes. Well, this could be a, 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 a witch that deal with, like, bats blood or the blacks, bats blood ink. All right, now you can use, I use black, um, bats, blood, ink for protection and banishment and remove of hexes. But I'm sure witches found a way to use it for another way. All right, this snake thought that they was going to escape their tower. All right, I just feel like with this, this bat is giving me death. All right, it's, it's, a, total, it's a bad omen. All right, let me see. Bat, spiritual. Here, Mina, turn it down. Death and rebirth. I feel like there is a death happening in their life. It don't have to be physical. It is leading a rebirth. Now, remember I said people passing, like, well, passing away in their family? That death is leading to a rebirth in their life. And that rebirth is, is the lesson that they're learning and them changing their life. Like, And it's sad that they had to lose somebody for, for this change to come in. They had to lose someone for them to see they need to change. Okay. Listen, I feel like the road, I'm hearing the road opener. You guys are the road opener. You guys work with Elegua to open roads. Yeah, look, the child, that's Elegua. They feel away. They feel like you you playing with Elegua energy to cast tricks in their life. They don't They don't believe you use Elegua for good. They don't believe you see only the good in Elegua. They don't believe you see his light and dark ass for good purposes. Like he used his, his, his chaos or, you know, his tricks for injustice purpose they don't believe that you believe in that they believe that you believe what you want to believe about ilegua all right i'm hearing again this is the great jubilee what's happening listen 
What's happening? Yo, every time I say Jubilee, I think of the chariot. All right, listen. Everything that's happening in your life right now is leading to like this this Jubilee. What is Jubilee? Yeah, I don't even know how to spell Jubilee. Jubal? Jubilee. I don't know. Job oil. Some of y'all definitely should... Look, that's crazy. Look, job oil. Original Botanica. Some of y'all, y'all should buy y'all some oil that will get you, like, new employment or create that. Like, y'all need to be working with this stuff to enhance these, these potions, these enhancements, these elixirs. You need to, these lucky charms, lucky candles. You need to work with these things. I wouldn't care what somebody have to say. Okay? Like, I will use it. Jubilee. Or Jubilee. According to the Bible Project. A Bible, what? And a special anniversary of an event, especially one celebrating 20 years, or 25 or 50 years of a reign or activity. Okay, good. Well, listen, y'all. I feel like a, a, the great jubilee is happening for you guys. It's here. Like, y'all celebrating, y'all reign. And I don't feel like I have anything to do with 25 or 50 years. I feel like for all the lifetimes that you've been coming on this this planet in that reign, in that position. You ordered a cry baby? Yeah. You did not. Why? You can't order no cry baby. Why? But did hold you on, Mino. No, I ordered cry baby. But you're being celebrated Why? for being crowned, I and 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 you're being celebrated for being crowned and for your your crowning, like the type of crowning that you have. You're being celebrated for and and being celebrated for the lifetimes you had this crown. The lifetimes you had with this crown, like you know, the reason why you're being celebrated is because it's you had it for this long. And you was holding it up, holding it down for this long. You know what I'm saying? Like you deserve to be celebrated for it. And this snake thought they was gonna escape. Their chaos magics. A karmic was sending you chaos magic towards was uh, sending chaos magic towards your destiny, your will of fortune. To destroy it. And they was using the leg wall to do it. And to have you all in your head. It was also working with, like, voodoo. I'm getting voodoo right now. To have you all in your mind. To have demons in your head. This is like, oh, this is, this is, it's like, this is, okay, this is what they say. This is, this is, this is what they call protective, protection magic. All right, when they out here, this is what they call, this is what the karmic call it. All right, they're like, I have to protect myself against people that is doing stuff to me. So I would go ahead and do a spell or conjure some zombies to, send to somebody crown. To keep them away, like they to keep them away from me. And this karmic, they don't have to do all. They don't got to send no damn zombies to keep somebody like this. Tell a person how you feel. Say, hey, you bother me. I feel your mind. You what's up? Or just tell them how you feel. Bless you. You don't. Why you got to do this in silence? Why you got to send them a pack of zombies to eat at their brains? Because that's what it is. They're sending zombies to eat at your brain to have you crazy. And they wanted to make sure that you reincarnate many lifetimes in this damn dark energy. What a shame. And for some of you guys, it's a false king of cups. He was doing voodoo, voodoo work, all right, and sending you, I'm sending, he was sending you monsters from the grave. He was conjuring monsters, zombies from the grave. I don't, I don't think, he was just conjuring souls from the grave. No, that's, that's not his ancestors, like other spirits. To get, he was like, I'm a conjurer, so I'll get these souls to work for me. They're like, I can get these souls for, to work for me. And and what they don't that? care. This is someone, they're like, I don't care. Bobby, if like, hold on, I'm canceling it right now. They don't care if they don't, if, Bro, if they know the spirits or not. I mean, they're like, they're like, you don't have to know the spirits to get them to work for you. But you, listen, properly, properly speaking, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like they can do things properly. I'm not a, I'm not, shh, I ain't no conjurer. I don't, I don't conjure, so I don't know. You know, a lot of hoodoo practitioners are conjurers. Be quiet, you guys. Be quiet. All right, but yeah, many conjurers, you know, I mean, hoodoo practitioners, they conjure. So they're like, you don't have to know the spirits to get that spirit from the grave to work for you. But 
I mean, I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. I can't tell you those proper steps, but what I do recommend is you guys not going to the graveyards and trying to get a pack of spirits to work for you. Especially these, these spirits are peacefully sleeping. You should want to call on your, you know, your ancestors to help you. Your own pack of zombies that work for your bloodline. What? Alright, but for a lot of you guys, it was a Jezebel in your energy, and this Jezebel was a snake. For a lot of you guys, this Jezebel was the psychic. Like, this Jezebel is actually a psychic. And, and well, this psychic is actually a Jezebel. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, and I feel like they're trapped in this energy. Shmi, no. I'm sorry, y'all, about the kids crying. But understand, they're also trapped in this, this firestorm, this karma. This Jezebel specifically... It's trapped in this 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 karma. And for some of you guys, a lot of you guys, this this bull crap psychic that's attacking you, this terror reader, is the Jezebel. But I love y'all. Bye.